welcome back to the Little Terrarium. My name's Becky Turner and today is a ridiculously exciting day. I, for the first time ever, have finally got some of my illustrations printed to sell on my new Etsy store, which is what today's video is going to be about. So my Etsy store is, like my YouTube channel, going to be called The Little Terrarium, so you can either find the, that link in the description down below, or you can just search The Little Terrarium, hopefully that works on Etsy, and you'll find my five prints. Um, so I'll show you the prints that I have, sorry I'm looking down because they're in front of me here, um, show you the five designs that I chose initially to do my first sort of print run, or no, test the water a little bit and see if people like them, if the price is right. Uh, I've not really done this before for myself, so you know, let's give it a go. Um, so I'll show you the prints I've done. Five designs in two sizes, A4 and A5, because I realise some people might not have a lot of wall space, so they might want a smaller one, or you could, you know, it doesn't take up much space in a frame if you have a smaller one. So uh, yeah, so five designs. The first one um, is this one, which is a Toucan illustration. This is the A5 size, as you can see holding one of the prints. Um, I actually did this one for my boyfriend because he loves toucans um, but I thought I was quite happy with how the watercolour came out so I um, decided to turn it into a print to sell so that's the first design. I'll do some close-ups as well. Then the second one, um, these two are inspired by two outfits I put together for best ball when I went in the summer this year. Um, so this is the first one. Um, it's kind of, I guess, a little depiction of me, um, and it's called the Mermaid Lady. This illustration, so it's kind of a girl in like a mermaid theme costume, which I quite like. The next one is another, yeah, the second sort of festivaly theme costume. And I actually posted this video last week about how I made this costume. So it's these big sequin um, bird wings um, and I enjoyed the process of making it so much that I made a watercolour illustration about that as a oh I don't know if I said these are all uh, watercolour illustrations as you can see probably from the sort of videos that I've posted to, so far I do uh, vector and also watercolour and different lots of different types of media and I'm going to talk about all those different styles on my channel hopefully so it makes a nice like variation across the videos um, so that was the, the third design the fourth design, and of course, is a terrarium. This is probably my favourite. It's like a geometric um, terrarium design. Um, I loved it. I have actually made a video about making this watercolour as well, which um, I had another channel briefly, but I didn't like the name of the channel. It was just Rebecca Turner Design. Um, so I've moved over to my new channel, this Little Terrarium, and at some point, I will be posting um, that video on this channel as well. Um, and then the final design is of course another terrarium, which is this one, it's a bell jar. It's actually a, a cloche technically, but she won't tell anyone. Um, so yeah, it's this uh, terrarium illustration. So those are the A5 size. And then just so you can compare, I mean, everyone knows what size an A4 piece of paper is, um, but just so you can see the difference in size, obviously, They'll slightly vary in price, but um, it depends just what kind of size you like. Um, so I had quite a lot of fun. I got these printed at um, Service Point. I'll insert a little clip here now of me um, going to the printers to collect the prints. I was very excited. Look, it's finally happening. So I'm just about to pick up my prints from the print shop. It's really exciting. Oh, it's kind of weird vlogging in public. <laughs> it's really cold. Anyway. Um, yeah, so it's from a place called Service Point in Central London. I'm near Common Garden at the moment, and um, lovely lady called Kate has been helping me. So, yeah, I'm going to show you if they let me film inside. I'll show you what the prints are like, and then, yeah, I'll show you in a bit how um, I'm going to package up to sell on my Etsy store. Woo! So this is the place that I'm picking up the prints from. It's called Gallery print centre at Service Point. Um, yeah, as I said, lovely lady called Kate has been helping me with it. I'm really excited to see how they've turned out. Woo! This is what they look like. They've just come. I'm in the print shop now. It's so exciting to see them printed for the first time. And they look really lovely. It's kind of hard to tell in this light, but I've got A4, five designs, watercolour in A4 and A5. film that little bit inside it's a bit I don't know we just find it kind of awkward anyway I have the prints yeah, I'm so excited um, I'll show you them when I get home but basically 
It's, I've done a limited run of 30 prints um, for the moment, five to nine, 30 prints. Um, and I haven't quite decided on the price yet, but we obviously that my Etsy store, I'm going to be linking it down below in this video. Oh, but anyway, I'm going to, next clip will probably be me showing you what the actual prints look like. Yeah, excited, bye. Also, I apologise for not wearing any makeup. I've been at work all day and yeah, I just can't always be bothered. But you won't judge me, will you? Hey! So yeah, there were, uh, there was a lovely lady called Kate who helped me do all of the printing there. Uh, at, if you're, you work around central London or you go through there from time to time, I definitely recommend using them if you're printing. The prints are printed on archival paper, um, so that means that they won't degrade in sunlight. So if you have them in a the frame on the wall, they're not likely to degrade the colour quality, which I think is really useful. It does make them slightly more expensive, but I think it's worthwhile if it's a piece of art that you're going to invest in. Um, so I am going to talk briefly about how I'm going to package my Etsy parcels. I've seen lots of people do videos about this before. I guess it's kind of a little mini haul video. Um, so I went to a shop called, I'm actually down in um, visiting my mum this weekend, hence the different background today, I'm in her lovely study. And we went to this store which is called The Range and it has lots of quite cheap art supplies, a bit cheaper than they are in London, um, as you know I live in London. Um, so we went on a little shopping trip yesterday, which was Saturday, to get some supplies to be packaging these off to you lovely fantastic people who are going to actually buy my prints, hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to the range to collect um, packing supplies and hopefully some cute stuff. Oh yeah. Down in Berkshire visiting mum this weekend. And I love this shop, it's amazing. This is actually a new one, but... Um, so the things that I've got are, um, of course, very boring, bog standard, just envelopes with a cardboard backing so that your prints don't bend. I've got these in A5 and A4 size. And I say please don't bend, so it means that hopefully your naughty postman won't um, bend them, bend your lovely new artwork. Um, so I got those in the range, they're pretty standard, it's probably the most boring thing. You have to buy these things when you're starting next to stuff. The next thing is um, Anita's A4 clear cellophane card bags, uh, A4. So these are just to protect your prints um, and make sure they get you undamaged and they still look beautiful. Um, I like the little design on this, it's very nice. Um, and these were between like 2 99 or 1 99 I don't remember. You have to, when you're pricing your prints, include the price of like the postage and the packing materials and stuff like that. So it all has to be, I've got a nice spreadsheet that I do it all in. Um, and then the next thing is, um, so I'm going to send you a little handwritten note in an envelope and I found these really cute uh, Scallop Edge cards. Um, in uh, the range um, and I also got which is inspired by Jelly Bean it's her fault that I bought this because I saw her um, I saw her video with the gold ink uh, from Windsor and Newton and I couldn't resist buying it and I saw it in the range yesterday and I was like I have to buy that so my justification is is that I'm going to use the lovely gold ink on these note cards to um, write you a nice thank you note and maybe paint you a little ink illustration or something um, yeah to say just to say thank you for purchasing being one of the first people to purchase my prints. Um, so this, if you haven't, go and watch Jelly Bee's video about this because it's a really good video. I, I had a practice of this yesterday. Um, it's a bit annoying because you have to keep shaking it and it tends to like separate quite a lot as um, she says in her video. Um, and it's completely true and I tried it yesterday, but when you, if you keep layering it on, it then gets a really beautiful gold effect. Um, and then the last thing I've got is some nice washi tape, which uh, is from a brand called MT, I'm not sure what it stands for. Uh, so I have a copper pattern one, I love like copper gold colours and like a blue striper one. I have a, oh, that's a grey one. And I have a silver striper one as well. Um, and I'm gonna use these to like decorate the envelope and just to make them look quite pretty. So you have this like nice parcel that arrives to you to your house or your work whenever you order. So that's, um, that's everything. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope you like my prints. Please, please check out my Etsy store and um, I'll see you next Monday. So thank you for watching my video and please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is my like third or fourth week making regular Monday videos now. So I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, tweet me or Facebook me. I have all of those uh, things. Um, it's just a little terrarium everywhere. So yeah, hope to speak to you soon. Bye.